Namaste, assalamu alaikum, ni hao, and I guess there are so many greetings to be used uh, during today. I'm happy to uh, welcome all of you on our regional call, Connecting Young Water Professionals in Asia and Pacific. Um, my name is Ludmila Odut. I'm quite a while in the water sector and also since 2019, I'm a member of Young Water uh, International Water Association and uh, a part of for four past years, I'm a part of Young Water Professional Steering Committee and I'm pleased to co-moderate co this event with Shatain Juma, who is an ambitious climate water activist from the Democratic Republic of Congo. She's active member of the Young Water Professionals DRC Congo chapter, and as well, my colleague in the uh, Young Water Professionals Steering Committee uh, this year. Um, before we start our uh, event, I would like to stop on some logistics question uh, moments that uh, I would like to remind you that this event will be recorded and uh, it will be available on demand. You will be able to find it on IWA Connect Plus with presentation uh, slides and uh, all other relevant information. Also, uh, the speakers are responsible for securing copyright permissions for any work that they will present on which they are not legal copyright holder. And uh, to stress that opinions, hypotheses, conclusions, or recommendations contained in the presentations are uh, and other materials are the sole responsibility of the speakers and do not necessarily reflect IWA opinion. I uh, will be very much happy if you will post your greetings as well as uh, questions uh, in the chat box uh, and uh, also introduce yourself and feel free to use your so uh, to ch share your social media accounts to be connected. I would really appreciate if you keep yourself uh, your camera and uh, uh, microphones. Um, closed during the event in case if it's like q a session we may uh we may allow the participants to speak but as for now please be muted and uh, the slides will be shared um centralized by myself um i would like to mention that uh, i'm very much happy that we currently we finally get to this region to try to connect all of the young water professionals. Because, you know, in uh, uh, this region, we have uh, over 60% of world youth allocated. And this is like more than uh, 700 million people, uh, young women and men. Of course, they are not like in the water sector, but still, I believe uh, the challenges of the region calls uh, them to be empowered, to be, um, um, let's say, with knowledge how to support their community and how to support to support their region. And also the transition in between uh, education to the profession is not always easy if uh, we have so much number of uh, uh, youth, right? So today we will have two panels uh, con uh, um, included uh, countries like uh, Malaysia, Nepal, Pakistan, as well uh, Iran, China, and uh, Sri Lanka, sharing their experiences and also following with the Q and I questions. But before we start, I would like to ask my colleague Shatain to share the opportunities that uh, the chapters uh, or IWA, um, the the community can bring to the chapters and overall to the young water professionals within the, the region and internationally. Thank you for the floor, Lyudmila. And uh, I'd like to say good evening to, from wherever you are following us right now. Uh, as my colleague said, I'm Shaten Juma Kiza. I'm a member of the steering committee and I work as an environmental education officer at WWF. And right now I'm going give you a brief presentation chart. So the YWP is YWP structure is the youth structure of WA. And uh, as you can see on the slide, um, at the national level, we have country chapters. And at the international level, we have the steering committee that is composed by representative groups of volunteers who provide 
support guidance on how to help more young people in the water sector. Uh, next slide, please. Um, when it comes to getting involved in the IWA, YWP committee, you have to be under 25 years old. That's uh, the youth definition and uh, have an active membership to be able to benefit from um, various opportunities of IWA, like to be part of the steering committee, to join various online activities and join events and organizing committee during IWA events and conferences. Uh, next slide. The IWA, YWP is growing. And uh, from 2023, like Sri Lanka, Singapore, uh, I can see Malaysia. And if you can count, we are actually close to 40 country chapters at the at global levels. So uh, next slide, Isabella. The YWP uh, community gives us opportunity to participate in online events, both on national and international levels, such as webinars, YWP global coordination calls, regional calls, get together like the one that we are having now, where we learn and interact with other uh, young water professionals. Uh, we also have access uh, on engagement platforms such as Connect Plus, uh, where we network and we also benefit from being part of various specialist group based on our different needs and interests. So uh, as part uh, sorry, apart from uh, the Connect Plus, we also have Microsoft Teams channels, social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, where we can communicate and where we update on our various activities. Uh, I think you all can see the links uh, to the IWA website and the YWP uh, pages and other contacts that if you are interested to learn more about the IWA, YWP community, you can actually use uh, to get in touch with us. Uh, yes, thank you very much, Shatang, for this um, short overview of Young Water Professionals community within IWA. Uh, and I believe that will be really great to hear like uh, real life experiences of people from the chapters, what it gives them, how, how it helps them to fill the gaps, or maybe they have some challenges or some achievements. So I will be happy to invite to the floor our first speaker, the first panel. Uh, Geoffrey Rangu Anak Thomas. Uh, he's a Miri Area Manager at LACO Management and uh, he's also a recognized professional engineer by the Board of Engineers Malaysia and professional technology certified by the Malaysia Board of Technologists. And of course, he is the, um, due to IWA, he is Vice Chairperson uh, of uh, YWP Chapter of Malaysia. Uh, Geoffrey? Uh, we are all keen to hear about your chapter activities and experiences. Thank you uh, for the introduction. Uh, so I'm representing uh, YWP Malaysia uh, to present in this original call. It's initiated by IWA, IWA YWP headquarters. Uh, uh, next uh, slide, please, Limila. Next slide, please, Limila. Uh, as an introduction, uh, uh, sorry, the previous slide. As an introduction to IWP Malaysia, our goal is uh, to provide a dynamic platform for the young professional in the water sector to connect, learn, and contribute to the sustainable water and wastewater industry, and also to empower the young professional to become future leaders in the water sector fostering innovation, sustainability, uh, effective uh, water and wastewater management practices in uh, Malaysia. Uh, so we at YWP Malaysia is uh, packed under the governing member of IWP, IWA, which is uh, Malaysia Water Association, known as uh, MWA. They are established in 1988. Uh, they have around 609 individual members. 160 institutional members 
comes from multidisciplinary membership and they are governing a member of IWPA since 2009. And in recent years, 2022, 2023, uh, they've hosted around uh, 30 events in uh, Malaysia and internationally. Uh, as for YWP Malaysia, we are quite fresh. We are new, established in 2023, uh, specifically in the month of August last year. And as of now, our committee members come from multi disciplinary uh, ranging from students, researcher, consultants, local authority, and also a regulator. And we had our MOU signed with IWA in August 2023. Next slide. Uh, the objective of uh, YWP Malaysia, we have uh, six objectives. One is networking and collaboration, uh, knowledge sharing and advocacy and awareness capacity building. Third one is advocacy and uh, awareness. Fourth is uh, career development and mentorship. Uh, fifth one is international collaboration. And uh, the last one is youth uh, empowerment. Next slide, Camilla. Uh, this is our current organization chart. Uh, we have uh, two advisors. Uh, one of our advisors is, I think, uh, recently elected as IWA council member, Mr. Adam Safian. And uh, our chairperson is uh, Engineer Technology Sites, uh, Safik. Uh, myself as the Vice Chairperson, Secretary Nusaza, Treasury, Tengku Muhammad Afizuddin. We have uh, one Deputy Vice Chairperson, Ten Engineer Technology Fazrul. And we have around six uh, Executive Committee members. Uh, we have uh, Government Industry Relations Committee, Academic University Relation, Training, up and upskilling, admin registration, technology and digitalization, and PR and corporate com. Next slide, please. Uh, among the activities that we have completed uh, since we are quite new, uh, most of our initial activities focus on uh, networking and reaching out to the relevant parties, especially to create more awareness on uh, the existence of YWP Malaysia. So among others, we did uh, engage uh, with uh, IWA Executive Director, Dr. Kala, in August 2023, when visit uh, to have a look on the one of the bidder for the World Water Congress, which is our one of the state in Malaysia, Sarawak. And apart from that, we also met up, myself met up with uh, Gus also. Next slide. And, uh, among others, uh, our activities prior to the MEU signing with IWA, we did a few engagement session with our committee members uh, through various platforms, uh, most of it online and including physical before we formalize our uh, establishment and uh, finalize the constitution of uh, YWP Malaysia, which we have done around July to August uh, last year. Next. Yeah, uh, we we also had our uh, networking session with uh, the Indo Indonesia Water Association in Kuala Lumpur, which is our neighboring uh, country. And our chairperson also participated in the launching ceremony of the Southeast Asia Water Utility Network in Vietnam. Uh, next next slide, please. I think there's a slight delay on the on the slide. Uh, we also had our uh, representative attending the. Youth Pre Forum in uh, Bali, and also our chairperson representing uh, a YWP uh, Asia chapters to represent the updates in the RWA World Water Congress exhibition in Kigali and Rwanda. Next slide. Uh, we also recently last year conducted our first networking session uh, during the Malaysia International Water Con Convention in 2023 at uh, Kuala Lumpur, and for our first engagement session with a uh, university, which is a uh, university technology Malaysia, with one of the faculty to introduce uh, YWP Malaysia. Next slide. And also we conducted our first online webinar to introduce uh, YWP Malaysia to the uh, another university uh, conducted by our academic and university relations uh, committee. Next slide. 
And uh, this is one of the acti uh, activities that we just completed recently in Asia Water uh, 2024. We had uh, conducted a day with YWP Malaysia in Asia Water where we had a session also to introduce YWP and also a sharing session by the senior members, uh, senior water professional in Malaysia, especially on career path and uh, development in uh, water sector in Malaysia. Uh, maybe jump to the last two slides, which is on the challenges and benefits. Uh, the activities that we foresee in and we have experienced in WDP Malaysia, among others, is one, increased uh, networking across Malaysia and internationally via many platforms, for example, this regional call. A second is uh, notification entitlements to benefits of IWA-related events. We receive a lot of emails from IWA itself, uh, and we managed to share it out to our committee members and members. We also managed uh, able to do peer-to-peer -peer discussion to allow young professionals to share issues and challenges uh, that we can relate to one another from young water professional uh, perspective or point of view. Uh, we had an opportunity to learn and develop leadership skills from mentorship from senior members especially those who are near to the age of 35, and opportunities for career growth through job posting, internship, project collaboration within the water sector. And lastly is on uh, international programs that offer cultural and professional exposure, for example, uh, exchange program and a lot of other events uh, conducted by internationally. Next slide. Uh, Geoffrey, I think uh, we may continue discussion uh during the q a session that will be fine right sure sure can can yeah thank you very much thank you thank you your, okay uh the, the activities of the chapter showed like a very big potential in the partnership and you know, networking so i believe that is like a, a very big plus and to you know to link uh, the young water professionals to some development opportunities or like skills uh, you know development like to the job opportunities so uh we will move to our next speaker from nepal is uh, shayla Dango, she's environmental engineer at Building Design Authority Nepal, with over five years of experience in the climate resilient uh, water, sanitation, and renewable energy sector. Uh, she held various roles contributing to research, project coordination, and consultancy. In addition to that, uh, she's actively involved in volunteering work and holds positions such as chair at Young Water Professional Nepal. Uh, which experiences she will be sharing just right now. Uh, namaste and a warm greeting to everyone. Uh, my name is Sheila Dangol, as Lady Imna has already introduced me. Before going into the presentation, I would like to thank Lady Mila and uh, Isabella, along with the whole IWA team, for providing us with this platform to connect with the fellow water professionals around the globe. And today we'll be sharing about the, our experiences on the status, challenges, and opportunities of uh, creating and now running the YWP Nepal chapter. Could you please go to the uh, next slide? Yes, uh, the next slide, please. Yes, uh, so there are like uh, in the in the first presentation, it was mentioned that there are around 40 young water professionals chapter worldwide. And yes, we are one of them. Our core founding members initiated the idea of establishing the IWA recognized YWP chapter in Nepal with an aim to empower, connect, and build a network of young water professionals from Nepal. And moving on to the next slide. Yes, and our core objective is to create inclusive opportunity for young Nepali water professionals by sharing knowledge and skills and helping them to ensure the professional development. Moving on to the next slide. Yeah, I'm moving quite fast. Thank you. Yes, and so these are our core founding members. The idea of this uh, chapter was initiated and communicated by Dr. Anish Kimide. He was the main person behind this, uh, like establishing this chapter. He was communicating with the Nepali team as well as the Iowa team. And slowly uh, we joined in and we became a member of seven. Uh, we, uh, we officially launched uh, this um, YWP chapter Nepal in September of 2022. 
and now we have new steering committee and our previous, uh, our former core steering committee have now moved on to advisory committee. Dr. Anish Kimire, Isabel, sorry, Isha Basyal and Amita Gautamji, they have moved on to the advisory committee. And now moving on to the next slide. Yes, so this is our new steering committee. And we have also expanded the uh, members. Now we are a total of 11 members. And one of the reasons uh, behind uh, increasing the number of members is so that we can uh, promote diverse uh, group. We can uh, divide the task and also promote new ideas. Yes, and moving on to the next slide. Uh, yes, so uh, since we are one and a half years old, uh, during the initial time when we were established, we didn't have much idea on organizing the events. We were quite new as a least experienced professionals. Most of our time was invested in uh, in uh, writing communications or sorry, the constitution plan or the annual work plan and uh, establishing the chapter as a whole for its recognition. So we did uh, quite uh, limited activities. Uh, we did two webinars. One was our official launch event where we invited speakers from the ministry level. And the second one was the, about the women's involvement in wash sector. And one of our proud uh, moment is the publication of our first newsletter. And shout out to uh, Sabita, Utsab, and Ashutos, uh, who put all the hard work and creativity behind publishing this newsletter. And uh, this in this newsletter, we also included the research articles that were shared by our members. and. Um, and yes, and then um, so usually there is like at first the Iowa National Chapter is formed and then the Young Water Professionals chapters are formed. But in case of Nepal, we did not have any such national chapters. So Young Water Professional Nepal Chapter was firstly formed. And uh, recently now in this year, uh, the Iowa recognized national chapter is also going to be officially uh, formed. They have initiated the process and now they are waiting to publicly announce it. They have named it as Water Forum Nepal. And the one good information is that uh, we are also part of this Water Forum Nepal. So like I representing the YWP Nepal, I'm in the steering committee of Water Forum Nepal. And looking at the database of our membership, we now have uh, 144 members and more than 50% of the members are female. And yes, moving on to the next slide. Yes, um, like, like I mentioned before, we are quite uh, least experienced professionals and we do face challenges in uh, regarding this uh, network, especially in its sustainability, funding and capacity building. Uh, as a network, we want to create a space where the freshers can um, connect with the seasoned professionals and they can build their capacity and probably uh, enhance their skills that can, that can help them in their career or even in their personal uh, lives. But uh, we are still trying to identify or navigate the strategies and how we can secure the funding and how we can utilize the network and the skills that, we, that the members of this community already have. And I think this is a really nice platform to be connected with the other or other chapters and to know what they are doing and how they are organizing the events and how they are encouraging the participants. Yes, so I think it's a really great opportunity. And moving on to the next slide. Yes, so despite the challenges, we did experience some uh, good benefits. And uh, like one of our members would have mentioned that being a part of this YWP Nepal chapter has helped him to uh, enhance his designing skills. And because he was the uh, single person behind uh, designing all the posters and image productions for our social media pages and the LinkedIn profiles. And even for me personally, this has been a, a enriching experience because uh, for uh, it has helped me to overcome my fear of communication. And yes, moving on to the next slide. Yes, so we conducted a small survey to gain an insight on the youth engagement in water sector. 
So we ask them what are the barriers that they have faced in becoming more involved in water sector. And majority of them responded that it's about the lack of opportunities. They do not get the information about the opportunities. Then there is the lack of skills or trainings that are required for them to uh, fulfill the job. And also we ask them how, uh, what could help them to increase their participant in the water sector. And majority of them told that it's all, it's about the hands-on experience they would like to get. And also the networking events with the professionals, they would like to be connected with the experienced professionals and have a, a greater insight on the uh, career prospect. So I think there is a gap between the recruiters and the job seekers. So uh, moving on to the next slide. So one of our plans for this year is to create uh, more webinars or the workshops where uh, which will help them to uh, gain the knowledge about what is happening in this sector. And uh, also we are trying to identify key stakeholders in the water sector in Nepal and create a map maybe. And um, uh, also, yes, we are trying, uh, we are happy to collaborate with the other IWA, YWP, uh, I mean, chapters worldwide. Uh, probably we could uh, hold a webinar or discussion on uh, some certain topic that is of common interest and uh, discuss on the possible solutions to that. Uh, yes, moving on to the next slide. Yes, by this, I come to the end of our presentation. And these are our um, different social media handles. And we would love to get connected with uh, the, all of you and uh, discuss on how we can move ahead for the to promote youth engagement in water sector. Thank you. Hmm. Uh, Sheila, thank you very much for sharing your experiences. And uh, yeah, even though you're saying like you are young, fresh, this and that. So I, I think still like, you know, inner core to do the contribution and to support like young professional matters. So yeah, good luck with that. And uh, yeah, a lot of expression for you and all of other young water professionals. Now moving forward to our next presenters. Um, it, uh, it will be Sami Farouk, uh, who is graduated from Neduet in 2023 and as a civil engineer, and he's currently engaged with the rehabilitation of infrastructure damage during the floods of 2022 in Sint. He is an event coordinator for IWA, uh, YWP, chapter Pakistan and also he'll be sharing the presentation with Muhammad Misbah Ul Hussein who is currently a final year civil engineer student in uh, at uh, Naduet and he's actively engaged in research projects focusing on water quality and remote sensing additional to that he's um, a country documentation director at um, YWP chapter of Pakistan um so uh Sami and Muhammad, uh, your the floor is yours, please. Uh, thank you very much. Good morning, and I hope everyone is doing well. But I'd like to confirm: is my voice clear to everyone? Uh, yes, I can. We can hear you. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to thank my host first of all for inviting us here today to represent Pakistan in such a big stage, and especially alongside my friend Ms. Wal Hussain and as well as my colleague. So. Iowa YWP Pakistan was formed on the basis of one philosophy, that was Manji. And for those of you who might not know, Manji is an Urdu word that translates to the person who sails the boat. So our main ambition at the time was to sail the boat to the destination to the thick and thin waters. And Alhamdulillah, we have been able to do that for the past two years. And in this tenure, we have had a lot of challenges and a lot of achievements. Our main aim that was to enhance the inclusivity of the ecosystem for the young water professionals was something that we achieved quite early in our stage. Uh, can we move to the next slide? Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, this is the philosophy that we were talking about, Manji. And now that we've embarked upon this journey of Manji, we are more focused on to bring water experts onto our platform onto YWP Pakistan so that we may somehow achieve some tangible outputs for our community. Moving forward with the next slide, can we move towards achievements? Yes, thank you very much. Uh, Pakistan has gone through a lot of 
disasters in the past, specifically in the water sector, considering the floods of 22 in Sin that damaged a lot of infrastructure. Between that, our YWP chapter was something that really did put an effort onto, into alleviating the problems of the communities. We participated in the six water and energy expo that focused on water and energy nexus. We also participated in the global water, water partnership for South Asia, in which we developed strategies that could be implemented in Pakistan. To increase our diversity, we also launched a campus ambassador program to invite all of the ambassadors from all over Pakistan onto the Young Water Professionals of Pakistan. Our chair, Mr. Ani Ghazam, who has played a pivotal role in the chapter and who is also attending the session, shined on the network stage in last year. And we also celebrated our Water Day in Pakistan's research of resource and water resources. We are also moving forward with our presentations of UN in 2023 and Youth Jambori, where we really brought the youth forward and we voiced what their problems were. Now, I think Misba can explain the challenges that we've had to face in the past year, specifically knowing that the achievements that we've had, we've also enhanced the advisory council and generated a fund for the youth water professionals. So I'd like to call on Misba to move forward with those challenges and how we overcame those challenges for our success. Thank you. Misba, can you take it from here? Yes, for sure. Thank you very much. Should I move the slide? Yeah, I can. you can. Okay. Thank you so much for providing such platform here to represent my country, Pakistan. Uh, it is uh, such great to be here. So now highlighting the challenges, as Sami has said, many things. So the, ch the challenges we had in, in initial stages was what to find the like-minded peoples. We had this kind of challenges. But the best thing was that how we are coping up with this, these challenges. Uh, and the another thing was uh, creating a platform wide loop piece uh, for the young water professionals. The young water professionals has played a great role in our chapters, the initiative, the insight, the, the ideas that they have in their minds and the, the opportunities they got, uh, they got to come in front and the role they have played for the country was much uh, discovering for the community-based problem to, to get their attention towards, towards it. And the other thing was the uh, evaluating uh, current national strate strategies. Uh, there was uh, something related to our national strategies that have been highlighted by the YWPs and help us a lot in getting over these challenges. And uh, in the end, finding the impactful solution was the, one of the great things for the chapters as we have got, uh, got, our, uh, got over all, all those things uh, with the help of the young water professionals and a team that we are having the uh, YWB Pakistan. Next slide. The another most important thing for, for our chapter uh, is that the experiences we had uh, as a Pakistan chapter. Uh, so we have got some of the best uh, ones here uh, from the country chapter. The, the first one is the Alina Hashmi, who is a country uh, engagement officer. She said that she has been the uh, she has been and in young water professional Pakistan has been instrumental in connecting her uh, with the young water professionals and a diverse range of leaders. Yes, I would I would say the what she has said, and I I, I agree with that with it because uh, this is a thing that I ha I have seen myself also that uh, the IWP YWP Pakistan has been instrumental in connecting me with the like minded peoples, and it gives me a lot of exposure and insight that that I came up with the idea that uh, we can have some of the different initiative as well. And the another is uh, Simra Abbas, who is from the country chapter. Uh, she said that dedication to providing professional development and networking opportunities for young water professionals is greatly appreciated. Yes, uh, I'll second it. I, I will second it. The another one from the lead webinar country committee who has worked with me as well. Uh, he said that working with a passionate and collaborative team made the experiences enjoyable and successful. Yes, this is the, this is the right way uh, to praise uh, something as you do with your team. And I would say it is a great experience to work with such a great team. Next slide. And in the end, the benefits. So the benefits of, of uh, YWP Pakistan uh, has been great throughout the journey. I've been part of uh, IWIW Pakistan since two, years, since two years since two years, 
uh, that integrating water resources of Pakistan international platform was a great initiative and the young water professional uh, got the opportunities to overcome the hurdles as uh, they have seen so far as, as in our country. And the another thing, another, another thing was the interactive collaboration of Pakistan young water professionals that helped us a lot to get through many of the hurdles initially we had. And in the end, the it also helped in building the leadership qualities and expert ex, ex, expertise in engaging the discussion. As we have, uh, as we had a uh, last event, which was huge jamboree, and it it gives us an insight that it was too interactive with the with the within the young water professionals, and that, that come up with the uh, new initiatives and the new ideas that we can have a, have in our future uh, benefits as well. So this is from Pakistan chapter. Uh, thank you so much for this opportunity, and I would say it's been great for you to hear us. Thank you so much. Is there anything else? Uh, thank you so much, Ms. Bach and um, Sami, for sharing your experiences. I believe to engage the community and to engage the young professionals there is like not always easy, but I believe uh, you will be really successful in uh, finding like-minded people because you know the water challenges are still there and we need to do we need to think and to find solution what to do with that right so uh, good luck with that and uh, moving forward to the a second panel of our speakers i would like to encourage um, our participants to share their questions and comments in the chat uh, as we will have our q a session in the end of the after presentations uh, and now i think i will pass the the, the mic to my colleague Shatang. Shatang. thank you Lyudmila. and uh, for this second panel we're going to hear from uh, uh, representative uh, of Iran chapter, China and Sri Lanka. So uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Bezman Tahiri. Sorry if I pronounce it wrong. Uh, he is uh, the executive secretary of YWP Iran chapter. And Bezman has over 18 years of experience on multidisciplinary project related to water and wastewater system, the environment and sustainabilities. He, held, he holds a PhD in water resource engineering and has worked as a senior engineer on capacity building and development of projects. Um, yes, thank you. And uh, greeting from Tehran. Let me please directly go to my presentation. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Can you hear me? Okay. Okay, although I cannot see the slides, but I can I can go through my slides one by one, and, and I, I I ask to you to, uh, to 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 move the slides. So the title of my presentation is exploring Iran chapters recent experience and conceptual approach. I want to say that uh, we have the YWP chapter Iran for more than seven years within the IWA Iran with more than 26 years experience. So IWA Iran is uh, uh, also a primary members of IWA. And also we have, uh, as I mentioned, we have more than seven years experience in YWP Iran chapters. Next, please. So this is slide, I want to show that, uh, that our goals is multidisciplinary and multitask functions for one year, including increasing the member development of the affiliated and dependent members, uh, publications like books, booklets, and guidelines, uh, and also publications, web, uh, weblog posting, uh, and then uh, uh, introducing and producing some ebooks from our publications and holding some webinars, as well as uh, web communications with our members and, or, and inviting the new members to our chapters. Next slide, please. So let's see how is the progress uh, of the YWP uh, Iran chapters during the last year. So uh, I can see about the events. We, we, we held more than 16 events uh, within the 
more than 750 registered participants, including uh, these events was included, were included the 28 webinars, 16 specialist, uh, specialized uh, group events, five publications, three uh, online IWA uh, cooperation meetings, four executive committee meetings, and two IWP chapter events. And uh, about our members and, uh, months, uh, and their uh, or monthly increasing members, you can see the graph that we have increased the members from around 350 from the January 2023 uh, uh, to today, uh, near to the 700 have a 10 group in IWP Iran chapters. And the, uh, the graph at the right, you can see the distributions of the members in this uh, specialized groups. Majority of the our members are uh, are joined, especially in urban management, reuse, and specialist groups. Next slide, please. For publication communications, we have one website and more than three pages in the in this uh, in the media, like the social pages, in uh, Telegram, in WhatsApp, and also in the local applications also the, the, i should i should mention that the, our website is in both english and Persian. i'm sorry i think basman is breaking so uh, i suggest to uh maybe we can share your presentation during the um, you know while we will be sharing the materials of this event because unfortunately the recording will not be good because you are breaking all the time. Uh, and I suggest to move to next panelist. I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for that. So uh, no, okay. uh, next, sorry. Next is like, next is like, yes. This is the old. Basman, I'm sorry. I think I will be sharing your presentation during the sharing the materials of uh, this event because you are very much breaking and the, the, the recording will not be proper. So I think we will move to next. Apologies. At least maybe during the Q&A, we, we can share some more of your experiences. OK. So uh, thank you, Lyudmila. Our next presenter is uh, Uijiu Lu from China. Dr. Uijiu received her bachelor degree from Tsinghua Qing, University and PhD from Columbia University. She's now a professor and the vice chair of the Department of Environmental Engineering at Zhejiang University. Dr. Lu conducted research to find sustainable solution to nutrient removal and recovery from water, wastewater. She has been serving on the managing board of the IWAYWP China, China chapter since 2018 and was elected to the Emerging Water Leader Community for 2022 to 2020, from 2020 to 2022 terms. Dr. Lu, uh, you have the floor. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, I'm Huji Lu from, from the China chapter. Um, can you please move to the next slide? Um, our, uh, as we know, internet, uh, the International Water Association is the world's largest uh, professional organization for the water industry. It has uh, increasing uh, influence in China as well. Um, these are the brief introduction of IWA. I believe everyone knows that. Next slide. Um, the China chapter was established in uh, 2012. After 11 years, I guess now is 12 years development, it has uh, been a significant platform for young water professionals in China, uh, where we can exchange our experience, uh, strengthen our collaborations, and explore opportunities for career development. Our principles are innovation, openness, sharing, and collaboration. Next slide. So this is the uh, picture, uh, the photo we took 
uh, back in 2012 uh, for the first conference of IWA chapter in China. These people, after 10 years, they have become uh, very renowned professors in the field or uh, industrial leaders in the in the in, um, in our field. So I can name a few of them. Uh, Li Tao is the uh, he he's the China uh, region the China region uh, chair, and now he is serving on uh, the Digital Water Committee in uh, at WA uh, headquarters. Mm. I'm not there. I was not there in this photo, but I joined. Uh, in 2016. Next slide. Um, we have all uh, these, our YWP members come from research institutions, universities, and the leading companies. I've included, for example, Tsinghua University stands up as the top one university in China. We have a, 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 a group uh, uh, membership. Uh, from uh, for Tsinghua University, all the faculty and the uh, graduate students can join the uh, uh, YWP as a uh, uh, group members and also some uh, big companies. Next one. Since the establishment, we started to hold annual meeting every year in October uh, in different cities in China. The, uh, during the pandemic, we had one meeting online. The rest of the annual meetings were all held uh, on site. Uh, last year, uh, can you click? Last year we had this in Beijing. Um, each time we have about 100 to 150 participants all over the country uh, from both industry and universities to uh, join this one, uh, two days meeting. This usually includes a uh, field trip to uh, water in, uh, water facilities or uh, mm, some water related uh, companies uh, will organize a field trip uh, uh, during this uh, annual meeting. Next, um, these are the formal chairs. Uh, Professor Pan was there in 2012 and then each term is two years. So we had what, uh, four, Four more chairs of our chapter. Next slide. Right now, the managing the chair is Professor Zhang Xiaoyuan from Tsinghua University. We have four vice chair. For example, I was I am the vice chair during this term, 2022 to 2024. I'm responsible for uh, an, an election of new members, um, and the other vice chairs. Uh, are responsible for different uh, duties. We have a managing committee of 15 uh, members. We have, we have monthly meeting uh, to discuss all the issues related to our chapter. Next, member election. We re, uh, revised the rules for member election and retention last year. Basically, everyone, uh, basically they, uh, the applicants will be reviewed by the 15 people or 15 members in the managing committee. And each year we uh, kind of elect new members within uh, between 20 to 30 to maintain a relatively stable total members of 170. Um, for example, during the past three years, we had uh, 32, 27 and 22 new members elected. So each year we receive about 60 to 100 applications and only around 20 to 30 will get elected. Next. And these members will stay until they, uh, they are 40 years old. And then, uh, so currently we have 170 valid members and 135 uh, who has kind of retired from, uh, from our chapter and they can become the regular I don't remember, uh, but now the young world professionals. 30% are from industry and 30% are female members. Next. Uh, uh, from now on, we will highlight some activities uh, we have in our chapter. The first one is Rising Star Program. Instead of this uh, 20 to 30 new members each year, 
we also elect associate members. These are the graduate students um, who have a strong interest in water-related research or engineering practice. And each person will be provided with a career mentor, usually our former uh, kind of retired members, but well established in the field, will serve as their career member, uh, the career mentors, uh, and they will. Uh, this associate members will also be encouraged to participate in all our activities. Currently, we have about forty associate members. Each year, we elect uh, fifteen to twenty associate members. Some of them will become the uh, regular YW members after three years. And some can also uh, uh, leave this uh, uh, our, this chapter. It, it, it's okay, but we kind of encourage them to um, be uh, the regular members. Next, uh, we offer Rising Star Awards to uh, people from the industry and from the academia. Uh, so we have three categories of awards. Scientific innovation, industrial innovation, and the newcomers or uh, 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 to the application industry. So the first two will be related to their, it's kind of a reward to, to their achievements. But the third one is a reward to the, the person uh, himself or herself. So uh, each, uh, each award has first prize, second prize, and third prize. Mm, and uh, we have uh, um, donations from uh, uh, the Beijing Capital Eco Professional uh, Group, um, so that we have this Reading Star Award since since five years ago. Next, this uh, the third event is called YWPs in Universities. We have our YWP members to give lectures to students and young professors at the universities, encourage them to be our members. Next, the fourth activity is, uh, is related to a major uh, journal in, in China. It's called Frontiers of Environmental Science and Engineering. They have each, in each year, they, they will have a, a, forum, a, a forum where we have a special session for YWP members, um, where we can also introduce new, um, new students or professors in the field to uh, to join our chapter. Next, the fifth uh, activity is uh, YWP in uh, enterprises. Um, for example, this was in 2020, where we have uh, a joint salon with JIEI Technology, it's an uh, innovation uh, company, uh, to talk about development and application of new materials for environmental protection. Um, we also have this YWP's uh, tech show where uh, it, they can uh, introduce their either their research in the lab or their practices in the in the real world. Um, they introduce the technical background, the innovation, economy analysis, and application scenario, um, kind of promoting uh, the integration of industry university and research sectors. Um, our former members, managing committee members have served on the steering committee of uh, the global YWP. For example, I was there between 2020 to 2022. Um, so we're glad to be involved in this uh, steering committee. Next year, the next page. Uh, during this uh, the pandemic, I think, the, uh, well, the the water the international world water congress was held in uh, uh, in Copenhagen in twenty twenty two, but since it was during the pandemic, our members uh, could barely join the meeting um, in the, in Europe. So we recorded the uh, congress and broadcasted to our members in seven series of webinars. I think this got a, a, a permission from IWA. And thank you for sharing this content with us. And we have over, I think over 2,000 participants online who listen to these webinars. 
and kind of attended the conference uh, online afterwards. Next, this is what our uh, next page. This is all I want to share with you today. And uh, let's get together for the future global water environment and ecology. Thank you. Thank you, Fujie. It looks like your chapter has like very, uh, let's say, planned and very serious structure. I think that's great, especially these things, what I notice about a rise, rising star program. I think that is really a great opportunity for young professionals to get some kind of, uh, you know, development or career development or some knowledge or skills that that's very nice. So I think we will be moving to next uh, speaker from Sri Lanka. And this is Ishanka V. Malavera, who is a uh, managing director of Central Environmental Testing and Consultancy. Also, he is PhD researcher at Research Center for Eco Environmental Sciences. Um, he has been in IWA since 2018, and I think currently he holds the position of uh, the chair of this uh, chapter. And uh, you're welcome to share experiences from Sri Lanka ch chapter. Okay, thank you very much. I born greetings from Sri Lanka. And so uh, thank you for this uh, great opportunity. And uh, yeah, let's move on. Uh, next slide, please. Okay, so uh, we are also very really new chapter. And uh, we inaugurated around uh, April last year. And uh, so uh, in the uh, our executive committee comprise of uh, different uh, young water professionals from uh, government sector and private sector as well as academia. So uh, we have around 10 uh, members uh, covering almost all the disciplines in water sector. And we had our the inauguration event uh, in April and with the participation of uh, Professor Kala, executive director, and Mr. Jacob, uh, the chair of the uh, the steering committee uh, as well. So uh, that was our start in last year. Uh, next slide. So uh, uh, now we have been operating for around uh, almost uh, one year. So uh, we have uh, faced uh, a few challenges like uh, infrastructure and uh, funding and engagements. So uh, we have uh, come up with a few uh, uh, different uh, approaches to tackle those uh, like uh, we are uh, we have uh, gone to uh, sponsorships from basically from private sector industries and uh, we are working very closely with our the, the main uh, chapter of our country and uh, then for the participation of course uh, we are known to each other our the steering committee members so we have a good understanding so that uh, it is a very uh, uh, with a mutual understanding there is a high uh, participation so yeah next slide okay so uh, i would like to uh, share with you some of the activities which we have done in last year so uh, this is uh, one of the activity uh, that we did uh, a awareness session for uh, on water conservation and domestic uh, for the domestic water users in sri lanka uh, jointly with the national water agency in sri lanka which we called as national water supply and drainage board so uh, when uh, we uh, we have uh, this is uh, one activity they have launched to give new water supply to uh, the rural areas so with with the uh, with, with that activity we have launched uh, we have uh, uh, distributed some leaflets and home to home to uh, to aware them about the water conservation and how to uh, use the efficient fixtures likewise so uh, next slide next okay so uh, then another activity which we have uh, uh, focused on networking was uh, to build a network for nature based solutions in sri lanka so uh, here we have focused on uh, basically the uh, na the natural water resources uh, like uh, the surface water groundwater basically total watershed management so uh, we have uh, collaborated with different agencies in Sri Lanka as well as uh, abroad, and uh, and we have uh, come up with a network for implementing these nature-based solutions in Sri Lanka. So, uh, with collaborating our main chapter, uh, IW Sri Lanka chapter, we have launched uh, this uh, uh, network, and uh, 
we have focused on uh, to generate knowledge and uh, capacity building for our young water professionals, especially on these nature-based solutions uh, uh, in Sri Lanka. So that is, uh, this is one of the activities which we have done to enhance our networking uh, in our chapter. Uh, next slide. Uh, then uh, in order to uh, build up the younger generation, uh, we have, uh, uh, we have established or we have initiated the establishment of uh, our uh, university chapters. Uh, that is, uh, we have started in one university, which co we call as Uwavellas University in Sri Lanka. And uh, so uh, we are uh, partnering uh, partnering with this our uh, university to uh, bring more opportunities for our young water professionals and uh, create a platform uh, for our Young Water Professional Sri Lanka to share their knowledge and experience and empower the uh, our professionals. Yeah, next slide, please. Our chapter members get the chance for the networking opportunities and uh, the professional growth and development. And uh, through the Connect platform, we are gaining the access for many resources and events. And uh, so overall, uh, we are contributing for positive social impact and uh, uh, professional contributions. Next slide. Yeah, so uh, this is, these are uh, the social media handles which we can uh, join and collaborate. And I'm very looking forward to join with the all the other uh, chapters as well. Yeah, thank you very much. Hmm. Thank you, Ishanka. And I think it's really great that you are trying to uh, make some partnerships or try to connect. I think you were mentioning either like national authority for this community projects or nature-based projects and also engagement of the university. It's, I think it's really great, like even though it might be a start, but then uh, I'm sure like it will be progressing. So yeah, thank you very much for your work and for your for sharing your presentation. Uh, yeah, so I think we completed with our presentations and we will be moving to the uh, Q&A session. So, I mean, I would like to start with uh, Jeffrey, if possible. I'm wondering if uh, your chapter has uh, a strategy how to increase awareness and uh, what can awareness like of the community engagement and growth and what can be the ways for that, if you can share. Uh, thank you, uh, Ludmila, for the questions. On part of awareness, uh, since we are quite a new chapter, uh, it is one of our focus actually in uh, among our strategy is to focus on social media campaigns uh, and leveraging on the existing platform. For example, uh, we have our LinkedIn uh, page on and ready now, and we post all our uh, programs and upcoming events in there, and we encourage our members to share to others, especially to those who haven't joined us. Apart from that, we are also focusing on collaboration uh, with uh, especially university, targeting the uh, graduates from the university, especially those who are at the final year before they are deciding on their uh, career path that they're going to do. And uh, we also, uh, planning to do uh, some community outreach, especially to the relevant agency in uh, Malaysia, especially in those in the water and uh, wastewater agency in Malaysia. So uh, that is amongst the strategy that we engage as of now to increase awareness for YWP Malaysia. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much for sharing that. And I think I hope Bazan is with us here. So it will be great to hear from him uh, about cooperation also and participation with other related specialized organizations. What benefits this type of collaboration can give to chapters, to young water professionals, and uh, what will be the advice to how to start these collaborations based on the uh, Iran chapter experiences? Okay, thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay, I should say about this, uh, these topics that collaborations provide numerous benefits to young professionals. They offer opportunities for networking, knowledge sharings, and skill developments. 
fostering growth and development within the water sectors. Also, collaborations enable the expansion of professional networks, networks facilitate the acquisition of the new skills and promote knowledge sharing among young water professionals and the industry as well uh, uh, as a whole. Also, I should add about this question that collaboration allow for the identification and discussion of sector challenges and opportunities, provide platforms for sharing working experience and job opportunities and bringing industry and academic clouds together. Through collaborations, YWP can engage in mentoring relationships with experienced professionals, receive guidance and participate in events that contribute to their professional developments. And at last, I should uh, mention that collaborations within empower, within empower young water professionals by creating a supportive environment for learning, networking, and also career advancement. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you, Bajman, for such a comprehensive response. And I believe there are so many things to take from that. I would like to ask from the audience, Do does anyone have uh, any question to our speaker? So maybe you can, I mean, try to speak up. Not much, I think, right? <laughs> Haven't seen any anyone trying to speak. So um, let me try to ask Shail. Ah, Young, Young, please, you're welcome. Thank you, Ludmila, and well done to all the presenters. Thank you for sharing your experiences. My question is, um, what support do you need from the steering committee to further your reach as well as to continuously improve and enhance your operations as a country chapter? Thank you. Anyone would like to respond from the speakers? As for our volunteers. <laughs> okay, may I say something? Think? Sure, sure. Okay. Although it's a very important comment, I want to say that uh, what we need in the chapters is support uh, for the events, that these events are concentrated to are concentrated to enhance the group skills. We have some, uh, the, uh, during these, these years, I saw that uh, the YWP also steering the committee of the YWP of IWA uh, hold some events or hold some special programs. These programs mostly are concentrated uh, to the personal skills or the enhancement personally. So, uh, the example is uh, something like the grand first program. Um, but what we need is the program or special plans to enhance a group skills. Uh, maybe maybe you can cover more people or more YWP in the programs regionally, not internationally. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you. Anyone else maybe want to elaborate? Maybe Shayla, what do you think about? Uh, I think Kujie started, right? So please, please. Kujie, you are saying something? Please go ahead. Yeah, I guess Yang's question is uh, how the involvement of uh, uh, our, uh, for example, myself was served on the steering committee during 2020 to 2022. How did that improve? the operation of our own chapter. I guess your question is as an example. But um, when I, before I served on the steering committee, I thought um, the uh, chapters, whether we chapters in other countries will be uh, with the similar structure as what we have in China. But uh, after I served on that committee, I noticed that other chapters tend to have more uh, people from the industry, and they are really, uh, I think they are much younger. When, when I applied, I think I was close to 35, let's say, uh, they, they, 
uh, age limit for uh, to be uh, on that steering committee. But I think the rest of the committee are members from other countries that are, uh, they are younger. So after I served on the steering committee, we had a discussion about uh, moving our overall age of our members to um, maybe close to 30 or yeah, even younger. So that's why we started this associate membership, there, uh, uh, which are open to the graduate students. And that's why we started to have this YWT members in universities um, to encourage younger professionals to uh, join at their earlier age so that they can uh, enjoy a better uh, involvement in, in, in our organization. So these are some examples that uh, by serving on that steering committee, we can have that all really broaden our horizon and open our um, new direction or new activities we can have in our sector. Hmm. Thank you, Fujia. And I think uh, Sheila was going to add something more, right? Actually, I was not going to add to what Hizzy was saying. Um, I actually had one, actually one of my uh, like colleagues had question regarding the institution and the operation of the YW chapters. I think um, YWP in Malaysia chapter, they are associated with the national country chapter and they are working with them. So I actually wanted to know how, what is the strategy or what kind of agreement do you have with the national chapter? Uh, do they help you with securing the funding? Or how is it? Uh, I wanted to have, get the clear idea on that. I guess Jeffrey can try to respond on that. Uh, thank you, uh, Sheila, for the question. So uh, our uh, relationship with uh, the governing body of uh, Water Station in Malaysia, MWA, Malaysia Water Station, is like father and son. <laughs> Uh, they they provide us uh, support uh, uh, financially yes and also uh, in terms of uh, in terms of uh, giving the expertise uh, advice uh, for example if we need uh, someone that are uh, having an expertise in some topics that we wanted to all our webinar or uh, talks, they are willing to assist us. So it, there's no no formal agreement between us and the national body. It's more like a, a what do you call that? Uh, they are willing to help in any any way that they can. Plus, a, this YWP uh, set up in Malaysia is actually also motivated by. Uh, their their support and they are the one who pushing for it we are the one who in, uh, doing it uh, the work on the ground so basically there's no formal agreement but it's more like they are on on on, on their own willingness to help us so uh, that's about it Sheila I hope I answer your question I think now uh, I just uh, saw the message from Isabella that the YWP chapter has to be connected with the governing member. Uh, so I wanted to know that is there any formal agreement required by the IWA? Uh, is there any kind of uh, template uh, between the YWP chapter or the IWA for the for the country chapter? Hi, Sheila. Can you hear me? Yes. I do apologize for my voice, but it's breaking a little. Um, no, there is not a formal agreement, but when the chapter is created, if you remember, there was an agreement that was signed in between IWA and, 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 um, Ishenka, um, sorry, uh, um, I forgot the name, um, Anish, Anish, uh, as the chair of the, of the chapter. And in case we had a, a GM, a government member, the government member would also be signing this disagreement on this. All the time that we are establishing a chapter and we have a gem on it, the gem we review all the documents so they are aware about what the chapter is creating. And we didn't include in this presentation, but we do have some guidelines 
in, in terms uh, of what a gem can uh, support the, uh, the chapter. And if I'm not mistaken, this is available on the um, IWA Connect Plus page of the Young Governor of Professionals. There's a, a PowerPoint presentation with uh, GMs, government members, and YWP uh, relationship. And you, we can definitely talk by, like more by, by email. Hmm. All right. Thank you very much for clarifying the questions. Anyone else has uh, more questions from the audience or even panelists? Yeah, I'm wondering, like uh, Shella was sharing, like about the engagement of steering committees. So I'm, I'm, I'm also curious, how do you keep the steering committee engaged and motivated throughout the tenure, and like what approaches you use, as well, like how, how do you try to engage other young water professionals? Maybe some more info on that. What you already presented. Yeah, actually, uh, we do not have any specific strategy but we try to keep open communication. So we communicate via WhatsApp. We have WhatsApp group where we have all the members. We communicate via the WhatsApp group. If you have any idea or new, if you want to organize any kind of webinar, then we simply text on the WhatsApp group and, uh, and it's like open to everyone. And also once in a month, we try to organize a meeting with all the members. And uh, also this year, we have uh, like um, we have published uh, we have uh, shared the roles and responsibilities of uh, each specific roles so having said that the roles are um, we do not have any kind of hierarchy so it's kind of flexible since every everybody is volunteering they it's their uh, own choice of interest to volunteer and to invest how much of time they would like to give so we do not force anyone. And uh, having said that, it is also an opportunity for like leading any kind of initiative that they do, they would like to do. So yeah, we keep it, it's flexible and we keep it open. Mm. Thank you very much. I think it's a nice approach and I believe maybe it can be kind of advice for Sami and uh, Ms. Bach, like to how to find uh, like-minded people right through all of this type of I don't know activities there, there could be some more people be funded to be uh, connected to the activities for young water professionals I also have a question to um, Sami and Ms. Bach if they are organizing any networking for young water professionals with seniors or how it works in in your country does uh, I mean do seniors interested to 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 do this type of activities to share their experiences with youngs Okay, yes, uh, that's a really good question. Uh, well, talking about our seniors, particularly we always connect when there's an issue that that any one of us comes with, right? So it's like a really open platform where people come up with their problems and every senior who is there, they're, they're very enthusiastic to solve that particular problem. So I'm, I'm actually one of the juniors. So what happens is when I feel that there's a particular problem that that needs to be solved or that is out of my approach, what I do is I just write a proposal. I take it to my seniors and I'm, I, that is how they come into the loop and that is how they become part of IOYWP. And even though they've got much more experience than us and they are not into the volunteering, they are very professional and they are involved in big projects, but they take out their time for the young water professionals in through these activities through being in the loop so that is one thing that we come up with very often hmm. okay thank you very much uh, and i'm also wondering like um, ishanka was sharing some ex uh, examples of community um, projects or community involvement you i'm i'm wondering if you really have interest in that i mean how do you make it like uh, more engagement for that right now, if you can elaborate. Yes, uh, actually, uh, our young water professionals uh, get involved in such activities because they got the chance for their like uh, awareness and they have the chance for their maybe the career development likewise because they we, they can interact with uh, the industry experts with uh, within those sessions. Uh, so that uh, they have the opportunity for a career development 
and uh, of course they can raise their awareness and outreach uh, the uh, to the community and of course they they can uh, increase their public recognition and so these kinds of skills they can uh, 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 increase improve so that by these aspects uh, we mentioned those we mentioned those advantages to them so that they get involved uh, more and more in those uh, activities which we organize yeah. mm. thank you very much and i believe there will be also more and more questions <laughs> i'm sure and i hope you all try to share the contacts with each other and to continue sharing your uh, you know experiences or maybe opportunities um, through uh, let's say continuous communication and of course through the IWA platform I think we will be moving on um, I just want to mention about several few events what will be in the closest future that uh, in the mid of June specifically 16 to 19 we will have conference Young Water Professional European Conference held uh, in uh, Denmark I'm sorry, Copenhagen. Yeah, Copenhagen, Denmark. And of course, we will have in the mid of August, 11th to 15th, our big event, IW World Water Congress and exhibition. And yeah, there will be engagement for young water professional as well. So hopefully to see all of you there. Um, uh, and uh, those who are interested to become a member, you can use a discount uh, to become a member of IWA. And uh, yeah, I would like to thank all of the speakers, all of the our participants who took part in this event, who tried <coughs> to share their experiences and, uh, you know, maybe challenges as well, you know. In the field, there will be always like competition or something like that, but there should be also a part of uh, like sharing. Yeah, sharing is caring. So I'm always encouraged that I believe like our world and our planet needs to have like more professionals, more young water professionals, because we have like a lot of challenging challenges and, you know, issues uh -huh. to deal with. And um, having this type of conversations uh, are also are always uh, useful for us and sharing the opportunities are al always uh, useful for all of us. Uh, that's why I encourage all of us to continue our conversation on IWA uh, platform. Either it's like specifically connected to young water professionals or it's, specific, or it's connected to some specific topics. And yes. Thank you very much for Isabella supporting us today. And I wish everyone a good uh, day, evening, day, wherever you are. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, thank you.